Hello, this is Leslie Simpson with Professional Realty Services, here to talk to you today about the best small or smaller towns near Vancouver, Washington. The number one that I'm gonna talk about is Camas. This is my hometown, so I am completely biased. Go paper makers. Yes, that is our mascot. Uh, Camas is located just east of Vancouver along the Columbia River. Its population is about 23,000, and yes, it is an old paper mill town. It has gotten much cooler though lately. It is sandwiched in between Vancouver to the west and Washougal to the east on the river. Downtown Camas is an adorable area with shopping, restaurants, art galleries, and the super lovable Liberty Theater. One of my favorite things to do in Camas is to grab a coffee from Cafe Piccolo and just walk around downtown and browse at Camas Antiques. They've got a really great farmer's market from June through September and a notable event every summer is Camas Days. Camas School District is ranked highly in the state and is very sought after. A lot of buyers are wanting to just be in Camas schools for their kids. Defining geographical features of Camas include Lacamas Lake and Prune Hill. The best burger place, arguably in the world, is Top Burger, located in downtown Camas near Crown Park. I highly recommend that you go grab their fries and a milkshake. Next to Camas is Washougal. Washougal is just east of Camas on the Columbia River. Some of the homes in Washougal up on the hillside have just absolutely breathtaking views of the Columbia River and Mount Hood and the Gorge. One of my favorite landmarks in Washougal is Cottonwood Beach, or as the locals call it, BA Beach, where there are sand beaches to enjoy in the river um, in the summer. Washougal River is also a great area for summer recreation. Lots of kayaking, tubing, and fishing. It's pretty much the best place to have fun in the summer out there in the Shug. The Port of Camas Washougal is also a great launching place for summer boating adventures. And you can find the famous Puffin Cafe at the Marina. That is a super cute little restaurant there on the dock. Downtown Washougal has grown a lot. They have a nice variety of shops and restaurants to explore, but there are still a lot of rural parts of Washougal too. Battleground is north of Vancouver. Its current population is estimated at 21,000. Um, as I said, it's about 11 miles northeast of Vancouver. Battleground is similar to Washougal in their mix of close-in living and rural properties. Battlegrounds downtown has grown quite a bit and they have some great restaurants, cafes, antique shops, and boutiques. They have really wonderful parks as well. They have a great Harvest Days Festival every summer and it tends to be a very close-knit community. As a realtor, I find myself going to Battleground most often for clients who are wanting new construction homes or they're looking for a little bit of property, just a little bit of space. If you don't mind a bit of a jog to the freeway, then Battleground really is a great place to be. They have tons of shopping, they have their own movie theater, and plenty of restaurant options. Richfield is north of Vancouver and west of Battleground. It's probably like 20 to 30 minutes to the Portland airport, probably closer to 30. The population was 8,300 in 2018. That's the most recent statistic I could find. Um, I would not be surprised if it has grown tremendously since then. It's super easy to find new construction homes in Ridgefield as you can't miss them. You drive by them everywhere you go. It's really growing a lot. They recently acquired a beautiful grocery store called Rose Hours. It has a growing list of amenities in downtown Ridgefield. Ridgefield has its own national wildlife refuge for any and all bird lovers. And they also have a port for boaters and kayakers. If I had more time to do fun things, then I would go to the wineries in Ridgefield. They have 10 vineyards. So I'm adding that to my to-do list. They also have the best 4th of July parade. It's super fun. Uh, north of Ridgefield is La Center, and it is north of Ridgefield and west of Battleground, and also north of Vancouver. In 2018, its population was 3,200, so it's been really itty bitty, but it's growing a lot. I'm seeing a lot of builders and home buyers are looking beyond Vancouver for buildable land. And the biggest development in La Center uh, in the last couple years was the A. Linnae Casino. It's technically in Ridgefield, but it's off the La Center exit. Um, it's a really great place for entertainment. They, na they host national headline entertainers, comedians. Um, as I said, it's on the west side of I-5 and Down Homeless Center is on the east side, so it's not like they are a bunch of overlap. Uh, La Center lot sizes tend to be more desirable and the schools are really great. They have just an awesome little community. 
Every summer they do a 4th of July parade that I swear every resident comes out for. There's just thousands of people there. And then they have a vendor event at Holly Park downtown where you can support local businesses. And again, it's just mind blowing how many people come out for it. Holly Park is a total gem. They have a free splash pad for kids. It's awesome. And the center is really only about 15 minutes from downtown Vancouver, and I anticipate it's going to grow a lot in the next few years. All right, so there it is, five great communities near to Vancouver. And if any of you want some turn-by-turn -turn directions of you know, a buyer tour, how you can navigate going to each of these little communities and kind of what to see when you're there, link there's a link uh, in the description below that I can send to you. Thank you.